Well, new this morning, a central Iowa city has a plan to speed up your drive to work. Kim St. Ange is live along Hickman Road. And Kim, this sounds pretty good to a lot of people, I bet. It certainly does, especially if you're used to driving along Hickman. It's not even uh, 7 o'clock yet, and let me tell you, this traffic is continuing to pick up here, even within the last 20 or so minutes. And really, this has probably happened to most of us if we're driving a lot. You end up just sitting at a red light. You're the only one at the intersection, so you just sit there staring at the red light, and you're waiting and waiting for it to turn green. Well, the good news is Clive has a great plan to help speed up those red lights, turn them green quicker. They want to sync these traffic lights at 128th Street, where I am right now, that intersection, along with 14 other intersections um, along the six mile stretch on Hickman. That would, of course, help you um, cut down the time you spend waiting at the red lights and also help with some of the traffic congestion that's been in this particular area, especially lately. Well, this new plan really isn't the first effort to help with the traffic congestion in this area. You may remember back uh, last fall, a left turn lane was added to five of the busiest intersections here along Hickman to help with some of that congestion, but Clive officials say that really didn't make a big enough difference. But even with this new plan they're thinking about, Clyde Public Works Director Bart Weller says this may not be enough to keep up with traffic. Development happening within Waukee and Clive and Urbandale, uh, I don't know if four lanes will be enough. Uh, I guess time will tell. Okay, so the cost of the project would be about $700,000, and as a reminder, it would affect all of the traffic lights in this six mile stretch along Hickman from 70th Street to 156. Okay, Kim, do we know where the money is coming from for this? And also, how soon could the sinking actually happen? Yeah, Elizabeth, Clive is basically teaming up with Urbandale, Windsor Heights, and uh, yeah, Clive and Windsor Heights, and um, they are trying to get 80% of this $700,000 covered by federal funding. So if the federal funds are approved, then those would be available next fall, and then you could see these traffic lights synced as soon as spring of 2016. All right, good news for a lot of drivers. Thanks so much, Kim.